being a dad has given me a little bit of glimpse on how our God sees us as children. Let's talk about that. On Friday. Fuck it, the bad it, the Lord it. Fuck the King James Version. I wonder how many times in this thousand times of whatever that you've done that, that you've done that. I don't know. About it's the Lord. Well, it's 1,294 days, so I don't know. Is it? Yep. Welcome to 1,294 days of Five Minutes with Frankie. Let's see, five minutes times that. Somebody figure that out. How many hours or days have I been doing this? <clears throat> Just by five minutes. And sometimes, well, it's average of what? Anyway. It's probably like an average of like five minutes and 30 seconds. Yeah, it's all So, um, being a dad, I get a little bit of glimpse of how God sees us. So, I love my children. Andrew and Isla, really great kids. Of course, we all have flaws. I have flaws. Um, but trying to steer them in the right path, pray for them, bring them upright, um, give them a foundation, know that the home is always open, that we always love them. Um, those kind of things, you know? And it, it was always really cool when both of my kids ran up to me and uh, put their arms up and, and hugged me or I lifted them up or, you know, they were on my back or, you know, <clears throat> being the horse and they were, you know, spurring me along and, um, I don't know, you Are know. Are just reminiscing at this point now? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> but, you know, it, it brought a smile to my face. They, they make me cry, good cry, you know, like happy cry. I mean, sometimes it make me cry the other way, but, um, <clears throat> You know, just the nostalgic and the, and the essence of seeing them still as a kid. I know they're adults. I know they're independent. I know all that, okay? But they're always going to be my kid. They're always going to be my, my child. And um, it's just amazing to see them grow up, to see them blossom, and things like that. Well, Paul describes this really, really well in Galatians chapter 4, verse 6 and 7. And I think this is one... I mean, the whole Bible is my favorite, but this is one of my favorite verses in a glimpse of God really saying, I love you, you're in a family, I am your father, <clears throat> come to me anytime, okay? I created you, I love you, I see your hurts and your pains and your joys and your, your celebrations, I see everything. I think this really captures that. And it says this, because you are his sons and daughters, God sent the Spirit of His Son into our hearts. The Spirit who calls out, Abba, Father. And that's not the band. That's actually a Greek word meaning dad or you know, father or lifting our hands to Him. Abba, Father. So you are no longer a slave. So we, we've moved from slave to sin to actually indoor, indoors with our Father in His house. Check this out. But God's child. God has made you also an heir. Now, <clears throat> if you're an heir to the throne or a child of the king, you own what your dad owns. Like, my dad can beat up your dad. <laughs> In the 80s, we always said that, you know. My dad can beat up your dad. My dad is better than your dad. Well, I can say that about my heavenly father. My father owns everything. My dad. It's so cool that he spoke me into existence in my mother's womb. Like, my dad is so cool that he he controls the breath and the heartbeat and the lungs of my own body. My dad is so cool that he owns all the stars and has named them one by one. I mean, just think. I mean, if I went to school today and I said, you know, my dad could beat up your dad. Well, who's your dad? Jesus. <laughs> I think people think I was crazy, but I am crazy. I'm crazy about God because he's my dad. He's my father. He's the one that lifts me up. He's the one. That's why I raise my hands to worship him. That's why I run to him. You're going to cry. I'm going to cry. Okay. He's my dad. And I know no father on this earth, no dad on this earth can ever be like my dad in heaven. 
And so my dad, yeah, had a lot of flaws. Okay, my 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 physical, biological dad had a lot of flaws. And I have a lot of flaws. And my kids probably will attest to that. Like, Dad, you're this, 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 this. And yeah, you probably have a list, okay? I'm not the perfect dad. But I'm telling you, if you don't have a perfect dad, and uh, if you are a dad right now and you're not a perfect dad, look towards God. God is the most perfect example of a father. And if you don't have a really good father, you've got a father in heaven that loves you and cares for you and is giving you everything. We just need to follow him. And so my encouragement for you today is, no matter what kind of father you had on earth, and no, no matter what kind of father you are to your kids, you have a perfect example. Look towards your father. Raise your hands. He wants to hug you. He wants to be with you. God is your father. It's an awesome picture. I love you. Jesus loves you too. You have a great weekend. Oh, it's going to be a busy weekend, but it's going to be really cool. I love you. Jesus loves you too. Jesus loves you too. And my dad can beat up your dad. All right. Love you, bye.